All right, boys and girls, we're gonna tackle that problem eight times five, and we're going to use grouping. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to create eight groups. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I am working on eight times five. So I need eight groups, and I'm gonna need to put five inside of each of those, all right? So today, I actually have little objects, and so I'm gonna put those objects inside there. I'm gonna need to put one, two, three, four, five in this group. I'm gonna need to put one, two, three, four, five in this group. 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 Wow, we have a big number. And my last group, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five. Now, in order to figure out this multiplication problem, I'm gonna have to count all of my groups, all the things that are inside my groups in order to find out my total. So count with me. I have one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna put five right here just so that we know we've counted that. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so at this point, I have ten total. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 total. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, it's because I'm moving my board. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30, uh, 1, 32, 33, 34, 35. My last group, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I have counted that I have 40 total pieces. So I know that eight times five is 40. Now inside each one of these, I have five, but I just wrote these numbers down here because I have a long board and I wanted to make sure that you saw me count all of those. All right, sometimes you're not gonna have objects. So I wanted to show you another way that you can do this. Sometimes you're just gonna have a sheet of paper and you're gonna need to create groups to figure out your problem. So notice, I'm still working with the problem eight times five, but I'm gonna show you another way to do this. So I could say one, two, three, four, oops, four, five. Now I'm gonna put five in here. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And then I can count them just like I did before. In this case, you're gonna see I've already got five and five more is 10. 15, 20, then we have 25, 30, 35, and 40. So my answer still remains the same, but sometimes we're gonna have objects that we can put inside so that we can group them, and other times we're going to be able to use just little tally marks as well. Notice that the groups are always equal. When we're doing multiplication and using grouping, they've always gotta have equal groups.